What is up, guys? It's Kesmir, and I am back with The Walking Dead. Uh, yet another episode today. We're seeking Kate. Uh, Joan took David. It's looking pretty grim. I, I almost think they're building a gallows over there. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. That's what I think they're building right here. That's my guess, anyways. Hope. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey. <clears throat> Where have you been? Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We've got to save my brother. He's still in their custody. And I'm scared what they might do to him. Told you we couldn't trust him. You were right. I'm sorry about what's going on with David. But we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. You should go without me. You want to stay? I want you to do whatever is the right thing for you. Yeah, get out of here if you want. Even looked out the window. Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy Whoa. Shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. So like three or four. Like that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. I didn't make that happen. It's not my fault. We had the opportunity. We should have gone. Are you crazy? I'd rather take my chances out there than in here. Then you're an idiot. Look at you. You wouldn't have lasted eight seconds past those walls. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. If we're really going to make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? Yeah, right. Good. <laughs> you two have fun with that. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. 
We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Was it fair? Too much going on already. Yeah, right? slow down, Trip. Come on. Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh -huh. Right. Okay. Good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Well, you can't force a trip. If she doesn't want to be with you, you got to lay off a little. Pressuring her is only going to push her away farther. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy. Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Bob. Remember what I said about staying cool. I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. Can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Your father trusts her. And we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I hope. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone. Other than you and Kate, Mariana, and what I remembered of my dad. Trustworthy people trust other people. The ones who don't trust anybody, those are the ones who screw you over. It's psych 101. What's that mean? Guess it doesn't mean anything anymore. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. waiting for the door to fly open or something. Because you don't know what's on the other side. Ava said it'd be this way. down here the guns are through that door locked no time to look for a key either I have to do this the hard way oh boy
Oh, snap. Put these in your bag. We're getting loaded now, guys. We never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Not exactly. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Not exactly. Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. No, why did he jump out? I don't I don't get this kid half the time. Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. Oh, damn it, Gabe! Does it fucking look like I'm okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. I don't, I don't... Why did... Why did Gabe jump out at him? I don't get it. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. I just, I don't get it. The kid confuses me. Same thing back on the street where Can he pulled the gun. Targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I guess, I think so. I'm mostly here to talk with Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. You can't tell by the snoring. More than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually, in much worse conditions. 
You'll be fine. That darn uh, dog. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. <laughs> it means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, <laughs> but it'll be okay. Awkward! Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Wake up! Talk to me! Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Can you hear me? Does he look like he can hear you? Should we slap him? All right, we're slapping him. Ba bam. Wake up. Talk to me. Wow. Guy is really out of it. All right. It's gonna wake up and go. Why is my face hurt? Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. It's gonna hurt. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Here you go, Clem. Here's some maxi pads for you. Just pills. So I got a computer here. This is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Thanks for the lady diaper. <laughs> I think I remember how to do this. Okay. Hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be. Oh, another flasher back. All right, guys, we're going to end, the, end it here on the flashback. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Kazmi, are out.